Hey, beautiful soul, welcome in for your weekly reading and energy report for Friday, July 26th through Friday, August 2nd. Can you believe it? For those of you that are new, I'm Joyful Medium, Joy Giovanni. Let's get right into what to expect in the energy and potentials for this week ahead. This first card is King of Wands. This is actually a really wonderful card. This means that you have the energy or the potential for the energy to show up for you with really focusing on what you're passionate about, what you're wanting to create moving forward. Maybe this has to do with your work. Maybe it has to do with a trip coming up. Maybe it has to do with something you're really passionate about, a pursuit, a hobby, but really your heart is in it. This king indicates that you have the tools that you need, Plus, you have this ability to be really settled in the energy. It's not an anxious energy. It's grounded, it's confident, it's forward facing with the wisdom and tools that you need to take this next step to create and bring to fruition whatever it is you're passionate about right now. So if you've been working on a project, this is great. Or if you've been stewing on something, also great. This next card Eight of Pentacles has to do with learning everything you can about this new venture or this new version of your venture, or even if you're just moving it forward, learning all you can about this next phase. Depending what this is for you, it might be a certification, it might be continuing education, it might be understanding the business licensing you need, or um, hiring new people, but really just taking the time to intentionally focus on learning, gaining new information about something that you're already working on and focusing on. This next card, we've got all wands and pentacles, which is amazing because it means abundance around your passion, abundance of financial support, material support, things showing up in the world to help support this passion. This is a great reading this week. We've had some tough energy recently. This one's great. This two of wands, if you notice this gal has her phone, which indicates the world is at her fingertips, this potential to seek out and choose whatever she wants. She's holding one staff, powerfully facing a direction. She's moving away from this other option. Two is often about choices. We only have so much energy, so much focus, so many hours in the day. So make sure that whatever you're learning, whatever you're focusing on, you're choosing your next steps intentionally and really making a firm decision about what it is that you're wanting to create, whether it's an opportunity, a connection, a community, or a promotion that you're trying to create for yourself, but really being confident, being decisive, and knowing that there's more big picture here than you are aware of, but the potentials are ripe and ready, which is great. This next card, Ace of Pentacles has to do with a new opportunity. So that's one of the reasons why this week it's so important to be intentionally focusing on what you're wanting to create, focusing on those opportunities, on what you can learn, on who you can call and bring in as you make these choices because spirit has the potential, the energy this week is showing that there can be this new opportunity coming in from the side that has to do with your abundance. Maybe it's an abundance of connection. Maybe it's a financial abundance that's coming your way. Maybe it's a new opportunity to create more abundance in whatever this is that you're passionate about. So sometimes this is as simple as an offer to like go to a coffee meeting with someone or apply for something or attend something. Sometimes it's a formal offer for a position or an unexpected check in the mail. But whatever it is for you this week, just know that there is potential. There's new fresh energy opportunity coming in with whatever it is that you've been passionate about, focusing your attention on that's been moving your heart. And this final card is great news. This Knight of Pentacles. This is kind of a double down on this new opportunity. This is brand new opportunity. This sometimes is continuation of an opportunity we've already been trying to grow, trying to mature, trying to work on. 
this knight, one of the beautiful things about him is he really, this is a grounded energy. This horse has, you can't really see it, but all four hoofs on the ground. So very grounded, very steady, very decisive, very clearly focusing on this pinnacle, on this thing that this knight is trying to create, trying to make more of, trying to grow, trying to make a flourish. And the cards that we've already seen tells us the way to continue forward with this is about getting the education, the information, the knowledge, making firm choices, really following that passion. And likely, if you're here, <laughs> you likely know a little bit about your intuition. And you've likely been getting some nudges from inside, from spirit, from your soul about what it is that's next for you in this next phase. So let me know in the comments or shoot me an email and let me know what is this passion project that you're working on? Is it your career? Is there travel you're trying to create? Is there connection, abundance that you're trying to create around something that you're really passionate about? And if you're not sure which direction to choose, the guidance from spirit is follow your passion and learn more. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. I'm so happy to have you here with me. As always, if you haven't checked out my podcast yet, Spirit Speakeasy, you can just search Spirit Speakeasy on any platform where you listen to podcasts. You can check out the video version on my website in the blog section, a new episode drops every Monday morning. We have lots of topics around mediumship, mysticism. We bring in the spiritual luminaries of our time. We teach tools and have real conversations from an insider's perspective. So I hope to see you there as well. Big hugs, lots of love. Bye for now.